there, there's a new trend in, uh, in IT. Uh, and IT can be composed of the developers or the operations folks, the DevOps thing. Uh, and really properly said, the de uh, developer security and operations team, it's a, a DevSecOps. A lot of that is uh, a confusion of terminology. Uh, there's containers, Kubernetes, microservices, uh, uh, DevSecOps, uh, all, all those terms. And a major trend is that uh, a lot of our clients are now struggling with how do I build a uh, DevOps or DevSecOps culture slash program, uh, one of those things. But uh, also for the more traditional IT operations teams is how do I enable my developers to have a developer friendly uh, experience regardless of the location for the uh, for that experience, whether it's on a public cloud, which is phenomenal at doing that stuff, or if they choose to try to do that on premises. A lot of uh, infrastructure that the public cloud has built over the last decade that uh, some of our clients are trying to replicate in a smaller scale uh, on premises. So how do I create an API first uh, approach to managing containers or infrastructure, Kubernetes, uh, any of those kinds of things? How do I give uh, my developers access to storage through an API rather than a ticketed request? How do I do security that way? Uh, how do I uh, create disaster recovery that way? How do I build all of the traditional IT infrastructure uh, uh, in that way? So we've been spending a lot of time internally uh, mapping that out, uh, uh, understanding how to uh, bring some of the uh, emerging technologies or some of the existing technologies that have been morphed into this capability so that our clients can uh, develop a practice around this stuff, regardless of the location, uh, public or private, uh, that is a developer-friendly approach that, uh, that's still under the control of uh, IT's operations teams. Uh, we're, we're increasingly calling that modern IT ops or mod ops and uh, our, our team is incredibly uh, fortunate that we have not only uh, the technical chops to do this stuff, but we have uh, our research and innovation hubs, uh, our labs where we bring in all this gear, can demo, test. Uh, I, I jokingly say we like to beat the snot out of it so that we understand where it breaks and where functionality uh, really is core. And then really tying that together to, uh, to deliver world-class experiences for our clients uh, on, on their behalf.